Hey guys, things have been uh, pretty busy on the main channel here with uh, the release of the teaser for Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. So um, I didn't want to leave you high and dry, so I've got a little treat that I got in the mail the other day. It is an Elrond minifigure. Um, you'll recognize him in his armor from the prologue of Fellowship of the Ring. So this is during the Second Age, during the War of the Last Alliance. Um, so who knows, maybe we'll get to see this version of Elrond on screen on Amazon here soon. Um, so we'll put him together real quick and then uh, we've got uh, some other videos coming up for you in the future very soon, as soon as I can get those edited. But for right now, let's go ahead and get Elrond built here. Alright. There we go. This is going to be a really quick one today, obviously, with only six pieces here. Um, but there we've got Elrond's body. He's got the really cool armor. We also saw this in uh, the third Hobbit film, Battle of the Five Armies. Get this cape on. I don't know why the cape is so hard. There we go. <laughs> nice. It looks like he does have a double-sided head, so we've got the fearsome head. And then we've got a more stoic Elrond. Pretty much the two expressions that we see from him in the Lord of the Rings movies, at least. Um, so we're gonna put we're gonna put his battle face on here. And then, oh, I love this. The the hair has his elven ears. That's pretty pretty clever. So he's got the nice long hair, the elven ears. There we go. And then he's got really cool kind of uh, sword looking thing. I don't think this is supposed to be his sword from the films. The handle looks pretty darn long. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and put this in here. And incidentally, um, this week on the main channel, I'll be interviewing uh, Daniel Falconer um, from Weta. And one of the topics that we talk about is all the uh, swords and costumes and everything from the Lord of the Rings movies. And we specifically focus on uh, Elrond's sword in the in the films. That's also Arwen's sword from the uh, which, which you see at the Ford of Bruinen when she takes on the Nazgul. Um, but there's a cool backstory to that, so um, that connects to the First Age. So you'll want to see that interview when it comes out here in a few days over on the main channel on Nerd of the Rings. Um, but that's it for today. So we'll just enjoy Elrond going into battle with the last alliance and we'll see you next time here on nerd of the bricks <laughs>